All right, Nick, let's talk about Southern Cal. There's some big news this week uh, for Southern Cal and, you know, just their recruiting as a whole. Uh, there's a surprise visit. It is looking really, really good for them. And I think the fans will love what is about to happen. Yeah, obviously, nailing down recruits in that recruiting game, bringing in transfers is exactly what Lincoln Riley was brought in to do to add to the prestige of the University of Southern Cal, their long story to history as a football program. And that's why, Trojans fans, I want to ask you guys to uh, respond in the comment section below. Give me your all-time great USC Trojan, if you could only pick one. This is a long and storied program, one quintessential USC Trojan that embodies everything great about this program. And let us know who that guy is in the comment section below. But all right, Miles, what you got? What's going on in L.A.? Yeah, Nick, for me, got to be Reggie Bush. I, I just love watching him as a player. You know, he's who I grew up with uh, watching. That's who I think of when I think of Southern Cal. But another guy that could be that next guy is number one overall recruit of every position, top of the top, Dylan Riola, quarterback, uh, who has now backed out from Ohio State, and he's back on the road again looking to come to a new school in Southern Cal is on his radar, uh, radar, Nick. He'll be there this Sunday, in fact. And I think this is a pretty big time uh, move for Southern Cal, getting back into the, the top four, I guess, of this guy's uh, schools that he's trying to be courted by. And But I think from t when they talk to Riola, it's very interesting uh, some of the points he made because this is a high caliber player, Nick. Best player in that 2024 draft class best quarterback in the draft class and he said uh some interesting things about lincoln riley in this program and i'm gonna get read that to you now he said knowing lincoln riley his track record speaks for his self for itself obviously he's had all of these heismans he's had a ton of quarterbacks three of them to be exact to win them and that's crazy the offense he runs the way he develops people it's all about how he gets playmakers the ball from a quarterback and the play calling standpoint is definitely cool to see, and I definitely want to go back there and look at it a little bit more. And I think that's something interesting. And uh, on the back of the mind of a guy like Riley, he wants to win a Heisman. That would be huge for him. He wants to be an offense that's going to develop him. He wants to go play in the NFL. And as he said, Lincoln Riley has a proven track record of doing this with multiple quarterbacks, Nick, three Heisman winning quarterbacks. Three NFL quarterbacks, we're going to assume that Caleb Williams is going to go to the NFL and be pretty successful. It seems that way. But isn't this pretty big for Southern Cal if Riola gives them uh, a ton of intention? Well, I think it just proves that Lincoln Riley is living up to his end of the bargain because one of the questions going from Norman to Southern Cal is like, look, can you compete more on the West Coast in the quarterback game? Because that's absolutely brutal. The talent there at that at that position in California is incredibly high. It's off the charts. And a lot of those guys from that neck of the woods, like Bryce Young is a great example of this. So, you know, they've, they've left the California area. They've gone to the Southeast. They've gone to other programs. They've gone to other schools. And the fact that uh, Lincoln Riley is once again competing for the top of the top at the quarterback position in California is a great sign going forward and let's not forget they signed malachi wilson uh malachi nelson i apologize i know i said his name wrong he's a five-star quarterback in the 2023 class as well he just inked him up so once again lincoln riley has proven that even though he's gotten one guy he has the ability to go out and get multiple quarterbacks because that's what you really need to do to be consistent winner in today's college football you always need to have the next guy waiting in the wings that's why he was so successful at oklahoma he has baker mayfield for a number of years they win a lot of games do a lot of great things what happens kyler murray enters the fold right kyler murray was a one-year starter at oklahoma right wins the heisman trophy number one overall draft pick right you don't need to be a three four year starter get all that tape to be a heisman guy to be a top draft pick guy and lincoln riley scheme all you need is that one year jalen hurts transfer one year you know early second round draft pick goes on a star in the nfl caleb williams you know comes in beats out Spen spencer rattler you know goes to you know after one season his freshman year is the top quarterback in college football right that's what lincoln riley can do for quarterbacks and the fact that he's preaching that and doing a good job on the recruiting trail to nail that down is going to be great for this program going forward because i've as i've said before mys good recruiting begets more good recruiting you get these four or five star these top flight recruits at quarterbacks you get the receivers that want to play with him. You get the running backs that want to play with him. You get the offensive linemen that want to protect him. You get those pass rushers that want to get after him. You get the corners that want to cover the receivers to pick off those five-star quarterbacks, right? You get good recruits, especially at the quarterback position. It begets more and more and more good recruits. Same thing with transfers as well. So I think going forward, the fact that Riley continues to have success at the quarterback position, especially on the West Coast, is a great sign for this program uh, going forward for the future.